Tech is up, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been a minute since we made a video. We don't have the power wagon anymore. I hinted that we bought another truck and uh, I was gonna wait till I had it completed to show you guys what I was doing or what I had planned, but things are taking much longer than anticipated. So I'm gonna show you what I'm kinda up to right now. So let me flip you around. Yeah, it's another freaking Dodge. <laughs> So this one's a Ram 1500 and we've got in there now a six and a half inch lift, 37 inch tires, a rear Yukon locker. I'm having a hidden winch mount made and I'm also having them do some skid plates for me. That's what's been taking the majority of the time. But in the meantime, we picked up this little toy the other day. So uh, we're out here in the beautiful mountains of British Columbia. I'm waiting for my brother. We're going to uh, unstrap this quad, try the quad out, give the truck a little bit of a shakedown run, and see what sort of fun we can have today. So my logic behind buying the quad was that um, when we're going out and doing rescues, we can have somebody out scouting the trail on the quad um, prior to, you know, the big heavy trucks going through, just to make sure, you know, that it is, it is a passable trail and whatnot, because there's nothing worse when you get down a trail and realize holy crap we can't pass it and we can't turn around so it's going to be kind of a double duty machine you know we'll use it for the rescues we'll have fun with it you know like we're doing today and we'll also use it for plowing some driveways so yeah and as far as the truck goes um my logic behind the truck was it's a heck of a lot lighter than the power wagon so it should should uh be a little bit better in the snow as we recall from the snow last year my power wagon had a tendency to sink so <laughs> I mean granted I could have you know put wider tires and fought that but I um to be honest I just got fed up with that power wagon so much money into that thing and it just it was one thing after another so I thought what the heck let's get something a little bit cheaper that uh, I can afford to stick some money into and well that's what we ended up so it's an 04 I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so it's an 04 Ram 1500 Laramie, full leather, all that good stuff. But um, it just, it had good bones for what I wanted. You know, it, it's it's going to do what I want for a daily. The Power Wagon was a great truck. But let me tell you, man, that thing was thirsty. Even though this has the same motor, this has the same motor in it, it's not near as bad. The Power Wagon averaged... Uh, almost 30 liters per hundred kilometers on the highway. This one gets 20 liters per hundred kilometers. And that can be attributed to the gearing. It's got, it's got some goodies that'll hopefully, you know, make it a little bit more fuel efficient, make it a little bit more stout in the trails. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty jazzed to be back. It's been a minute. Uh, can't wait for my brother to get here and, uh, See what this little Polaris thing can really do. Don't break it. <laughs> oh. Do you need a winch? go ah. all right ladies and gentlemen well that about concludes our first ride on our ATV and first real off-road for the truck I mean I wouldn't really cut off-road because we we're just on a gravel road but um, yeah it uh, truck did great suspension feels insane 37 inch tires on these roads is it's smooth, man. Like, it's like driving on a highway. Um, but yeah, back to the quad thing. So, it w today went great. Wasn't without its hiccups, though. My uh, my carburetor needed some tuning. So, we, we messed with the uh, mixture screws when we were up there. And I think it could have been we were quite high up. But uh, got that figured out. Found out I had a bent wheel. Whatever. No big deal. Um, my brother blew out a rear uh, bearing on his axle. Axle bearing. No big deal, we'll get that fixed. But uh, all in all, what an amazing day. I forgot how much I really 
enjoyed quadding. Off-roading is nice in the truck, but it's different. You know, you can hit it harder when you're on some dedicated off-road machine, right? So that's kind of the route I'm taking now uh, as far as off-roading. You know, I'm building this. I don't want to call it a pavement princess, but she's going to be able to hold her ground off-road. But I'm actually going to be building an XJ, something that, you know, I can just take and, for the lack of a better word, beat the crap out of. So, yeah, with, um, with that being said, today was amazing. We ended up, uh, let me turn around here, way the heck on the backside of that mountain. And I'm not sure where the other point was, but there were some dudes jumping with parachutes. I'll, I'll put a clip in here. That was, it was pretty wild to see. That sure looks like a lot of fun. That's so rad. <laughs> I could get that much air on the quad. Yeah, you just won't come back. <laughs> Might not land. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it lift. That's nuts. All in all, amazing. Feels good to be back. How to be back making videos. So I'm going to end it off here. Until then, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. See you all in the next one.